by handpicking positive podcasts, inspirational books, and connecting with goal-oriented individuals, James didn't just improve, he transformed. Picture Sarah. Overwhelmed and often distracted, this graphic designer felt lost. But when she began to treat her mind like a precious landscape, cutting out the noise and nurturing positive content, a remarkable shift occurred. Instead of drowning in chaos, Sarah's mind became a haven of clarity and focus. So feed your mind with what serves you, whether it's a book, a song, or even a simple online video, ensure it aligns with where you want to be. Just a quick reminder, if you want to deep dive into the principles of success, check out the book. You can find the link in the description. Now let's talk about James, a once timid individual bogged down by self-doubt, he changed the narrative. By handpicking positive podcasts, inspirational books, and connecting with goal-oriented individuals, James didn't just improve, he transformed. His environment became a launchpad. He spearheaded a thriving nonprofit, turning his once perceived weaknesses into strengths. Surround yourself with what inspires and challenges you. That's the secret sauce to personal growth. Clara, a schoolteacher, seemed defeated by life's daily trials. Yet, a conscious change in her mental inputs, choosing positive associations and content, made her a beacon of resilience. She didn't just cope, she led, showing her students how to navigate life's tempests. She used simple practices like journaling and meditation. They declutter the mind and fortify the spirit. Every thought, every choice, every influence you allow, shapes your mental terrain. It's not just about pushing away negativity. It's about actively inviting in what enriches you. It can be a barren desert or a flourishing garden. So cultivate thoughtfully and witness the incredible transformation of your very own mental garden. Your life will thank you for it. If you enjoyed this video, you will probably also like the next one linked here in the corner.